Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we called get all employees API and then we displayed all employees data on the dashboard in our React application. And in today's video, we will create delete employee API in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So we will create a method in the employee service first. So we will open the class and after the get all employees method, we will create a new method and this method will return void and we can name this method as delete employee and in the params we need to accept the ID. So we will mention long ID and in the body of this method first of all we need to check the existence of the employee by the id so we will write if condition here and here we will use not and then we will use employee repository and we will call exist by id method and in the params we will pass the id and if it is true then we will write the throw statement and we will throw new entity not found exception and for the message we will send employee with the id not found and if it is not true then it means the employee is present in the db so we will use employee repository and we will call delete by id method and in the params we will pass id and with this our delete employee method is completed in the employee service now we need to create the endpoint so we will open employee controller and here we will write a new method and this method will return response entity and we can name this method as delete employee and after this we need to accept the employee id so we will mention at the rate path variable annotation to get it from the url and the data type will be long and we can name this as id and in the body of this method we need to write the try catch block and in the try block we will use employee service and we will call delete employee method and in the params we will pass id and after this we will write return statement and we will return new response entity and for the message we will send it as employee with the id deleted successfully and after this we need to return the status and we will return http status dot ok and after this we will write the catch block and we will catch entity not found exception and we will name this as e and in the block we will write return statement and we will return response entity and for the message we will get it from e dot get message and for the status we will send http status dot not found and after this we need to annotate this method with at the rate delete mapping annotation and for the url we will set it as slash employee slash id and with this our delete employee api is completed now let's run our application And as you can see, our application is up without any errors. Now let's go to the Postman and let's test this delete employee API. And in the Postman from the types, we need to select the delete. And after this, we will add basic URL, which is HTTP localhost 8080. And after this, we need to add the URL of the API, which is slash API slash employee and then we need to pass the id so we will write slash api slash employee slash one now before calling the api let's open the mysql workbench and let's see how many employees we have in the db and in the mysql workbench we will click on this icon to view the data of our employee table and as you can see for now we have two employees with the id one and two now let's go back to the postman and for the id i will send it as 5 now let's click on this send button and as you can see we got the status 404 not found 
and the message is employee with id 5 not found because we don't have any employee with the id 5. Now let's update the id and let's mention 2. Now the employee with the id 2 should get deleted and we should get the response 200 ok. So let's click on this send button and as you can see we got the status 200 ok and the message is employee with id2 deleted successfully now let's go back to the workbench and let's click on this icon to get the new data and you can see now we have only one employee with the id1 and that's it for this video in the next video we will call this delete employee api from our react application